so like you said, it's a brand new family of scopes for us. This is called our Mark V HD. Uh, so this is in our tactical line. Um, it being a Mark V, it's a five time zoom scope. Very cool. Uh, so we introduced two models at the SHOT Show here today. This is a five to 25 with a 56 millimeter objective. Wow. We also have a 3.6 to 18 with a 44 millimeter objective, a little bit smaller, a little bit. Um, the great thing about these scopes, these were designed from the ground up to really enhance the system as far as the shooter, the rifle, the optic all working together as, as one unit. So um, we spent a lot of time on ergonomics and how the shooter interacts with the scope and the rifle. Um, starting from the back, we've got a fast focus eyepiece, mm -hmm. so it's really easy to get your diopter adjustment if you have more than one person shooting the gun, them to set the, the reticle up, focus the reticle for themselves. We got a real uh, aggressive high speed power selector ring. Uh, also incorporated as an in, uh, in integral uh, throw lever. Um, you, can, you can take that off if you don't want to run it, there's a right. plug that will go in there. Um, we also spend a lot of time making sure to get that optimized so you see it stops at about 240 degrees. Very cool. Don't have to worry about hitting your thumb when you run that bolt. Uh, this is what we call our M5 C3 elevation dial. Um, that indicates it's a mil radian dial. Mm -hmm. It's got three turns, 10 mils per turn. So you're gonna be able to get 30 mils of travel on the dial. Wow. In order to keep you from getting lost when you're making those adjustments, um, it locks at zero. So you just, right. you're always gonna be locked at zero. Uh, as you go, if you get it into one full turn of the dial, the little button actually recesses and it's flush, right? So now you have a visual and a tactile indicator that you're in your second turn. You use your second set of numbers. As you go up, if you get into your... All right, man. I this is our first look at the Bushnell Engage rifle scope. This is a brand new rifle scope from Bushnell. Uh, it is a 4 to 16 by 44 millimeter second focal plane rifle scope. And I know most of the time we cover first focal plane rifle scopes on the show. Uh, that is still my preference. Uh, but this scope was made to a specific price point, and so Bushnell decided to equip it with a second focal plane reticle. And of course, there are still people out there that actually prefer second focal plane reticles. Uh, the interesting features on this scope are it has uh, MOA turrets and an MOA reticle, and it is a fairly finely graduated MOA reticle. Features that are really interesting with this scope uh, is it does actually have locking turrets here. So we pull them up to unlock, uh, we dial them to get them wherever we want, and then push down to lock. Uh, and it is uh, fairly simple to get this set up there. And the other neat feature about these is they are toolless turrets, which means when you want to re-zero them, you just lock it down, you turn this knob on the top to unscrew, set that aside, take your turret off, drop your turret back on wherever your zero is at, drop your cap back on, screw it down, and you are good to go. And I don't think it's going to be a problem with this coming undone uh, through normal use because if you notice the knurling around here does stick out a little bit more than the top cap. So once you torque that top cap down, um, I don't think that's going to be in. Until next time. Welcome, Ab. This is the new scope Penti. Uh, the reticle itself is dimmable. It's either red or green on reticle. You can see that. Uh, the eye relief is about about four inches, four and a half inches away, which is nice. I like that part of it. Um, the zoom is incredible. Um, you know, sometimes you buy a scope and you zoom in on like 10 up to the max, wherever it is, it goes blurry. Well, in this one here, it does have to where you can adjust your focus. To wherever you're at, which I think is really nice. To myself, I I know my other, even my uh, that flip up piece of uh, crap I had uh, magnifier for that red dot. It was out of focus when you maxed it out. That's only a five power. I didn't even care for it that much. But this one here, like I said, you can adjust the focus to your eye. If you wear glasses, you know what? At any distance, it's going to be blurry until you adjust something. This one here, I don't need to wear my regular glasses. I wear protection glasses if I need to, if I want to. And I can make it clear for my, personally for my own eye, which I like that a lot. The uh, lenses are multi-coated. It's aircraft aluminum. It's shockproof. It's waterproof. 
pretty nice. One click is one click is a one quarter inch adjustment at a hundred yards. The laser is good for a hundred yards. Uh, pick to the rail mount. Yeah, like it does come with here. It is comes with a sunshade. And it comes with the back as uh, a shade for, you know, if we daylight is too bright, you can just slip those on there also. There you go. Yeah, that's the green still on. Just turn that off. I don't run them bad on batteries until I get to the deck on range. Laser's off, yeah, laser's off. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I like that a lot. Nice, nice enhancement, nice, nice addition <coughs> to that red that I have from, uh, Pure G. Yeah, you know the ones that failed two two things with so far. So Piaggi, what a joke. Um, yeah, it's yeah, I'm gonna put this on. We'll probably go to the range either tomorrow. So y'all take care. Defend that Second Amendment. Wash some damn hands. All right, guys. What is up guys? Today we're doing a real quick review of the mid-10 4 by 12 scope combo. This comes with the scope, the red dot, and it has a laser. You can choose between the laser, red or green. I chose the red one because, well, I just did. Out of the box, it gives it comes with all the batteries that you need for the red dot, the scope, and the laser itself. Um, and it comes with three different size Allen wrenches so you can zero in the red dot but also so that you can put in the batteries and put the scope on the rails and everything like that. It also comes with a cover for the lenses so that you don't scratch them. Um, I haven't mounted this but just from putting all the batteries in, playing with it a little bit, pretty impressed. For a hundred bucks it's not a bad scope. Um, however, if you do look down the scope a little bit, you can see the light bulb up, the, up at the top and it illuminates one of the rings that is glued in keeping everything together on the inside. With it illuminated, if you look up, there you can see the light on the inside and then the ring where you can see the glue marks and all that stuff. So minor setback, but as long as you're focused on what's at the end of your scope, you shouldn't be worrying about that. And then we've got the red dot up here. You can change, it's kind of blurry from what it actually is, but pretty visible. You got a bunch of different options as you can see. And overall, um, it's good. Sense. When you go to f your full zoom, so the 12 by 50, you do have a much smaller sight window. It, The focus ring, it is just barely outside the crosshair so you don't get any of the drop elevations within the scope. Um, at the brightest settings you will be able to just barely see the red or the green illuminated from the light. If you wanted to take it apart and put in a new light you could, well, you could but for... Hey everybody, how this is the Vortex HST 6-24 by 50 and some really nice I would say semi-tactical turrets. These turrets are sort of tall. They're not really big, bulbous, and oversized, but they're tall enough where you can get a good grip on it. You can actually grab your hands, and there's some knurling around the top of the cap, where you can grab and turn while you still see the hash marks, which is nice because there's a lot of companies out there that make scopes where uh, you actually have to cover the hash marks with your hands in order to you know, rotate it. So you can actually watch the hash marks. And this one actually has a fiber optic cap. Uh, it's a little fiber optic piece in the top of the cap here that will allow you to easily re-zero it so you can actually follow it with the fiber optic little fiber optic piece that is near the ocular lens here so all you have to do is just turn that match the fiber optic with the fiber optic here and you know that you're back to the zero that you guys uh, or that you set up so i think it's got a lot of great features to it it does have their um their proprietary coating on it so it's got their armor tech coating on the glass it is waterproof shockproof fog proof it ha it's got some really really nice glass in it extremely clear i don't see any distortion around the edges there is uh, nothing visibly wrong to me at least with the glass and i've done a lot of reviews on scopes that cost anywhere from fifteen hundred dollars down to a hundred dollars and i gotta say for the price of this scope i mean you're just getting some really nice glass and some great features for the money
Now, I've had this set up on two different rifles, a 6.5 Creedmoor and a 224 Valkyrie. Both are long range guns and both are precision guns that I've been testing out for the past couple months now. And this scope does great on both of those. I have absolutely no problem with either cartridge setting it up with this scope. Uh, it's got a very nice, easy to read MOA reticle. As a matter of fact, you can get the mill reticle if you want to. It's one quarter MOA clicks with a total of 65 MOA in travel. So you have uh, plenty of travel. Now, if your gun has like a 20 MOA base, on it that's going to help you even extend to those longer ranges but with the holdovers that you can use here it's not going to be a problem if you're going to want to shoot out you know a thousand yards plus it does have a very nice easy to see reticle it is second focal plane and again for me when i'm shooting long range i prefer second focal. so this is definitely something of high value if you want to get a good scope and you want something that is really going to work for you and you're going to like you're going to use uh, then i would definitely go with this thank you guys very much for watching 